Hey everyone, oh yeah, I know what time it is. It's late night when this video goes up, although I don't know when you're watching it, but I couldn't help myself. I tried hard to wait until tomorrow for this story, but I've been so excited I can't sleep. So we're gonna get into it because, oh boy, do we have a leak for Super Mario Odyssey 2. And this isn't one of those like, oh my gosh, you know, random people on Twitter that maybe have a track record and yada yada. There's actually evidence to support that we should actually pay attention to this leak. Evidence that is verifiable and back trackable. So whoo -hoo, this is pretty exciting. Um, by the way, this doesn't necessarily mean we're getting Odyssey 2 next year. Um, although I would presume Nintendo's probably bringing it out soon given uh, how we found out about this. That being said, uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime. We are giving away three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus. You can find out more about that down in the description or the pinned comment. Click on that viral sweep link. Also, beyond all of that, we are on our road to 80,000 subscribers. I know it's going to take a miracle, but if we can hit 80,000 before the end of the month, I have something extra special planned for you guys. All right, folks, let's get into the details because this leak actually comes from 4chan. And I know, get the boobers out of the way. I, I, I hear you, okay? 4chan is not a place we like to talk about. We only bring them up once in a blue moon, and there's a really interesting idea there. However, there's another reason we bring up 4chan, and that is when something posted quite some time ago turns out to be correct and might be relevant today for other things. And well, that is what happened today because back in 2019, there was a post on 4chan that talked about Sonic Frontiers. Now look, the name Sonic Frontiers and all that, that's been out there for a while, so nobody cared about that, but it included details about the game, including exact story details. And the thing is, nobody cared about that either because they just figured they were making it up. Basically, the claim was this person was taking, um, I don't know, what do you call them? Surveys, I guess. They had to sign an NDA to take some surveys on a bunch of different video games from a, from a certain company that was submitting these surveys to a very select group of users. Uh, and yeah, obviously he wasn't supposed to leak this stuff on the internet, supposedly, but everyone kind of dismissed it as whatever. Even with Sonic Frontiers, when the name was leaked and confirmed, that they didn't really lend credence to this because Sonic Frontiers has been rumored for quite some time. But there was exact story details in this um, survey and the person gave us those story details and literally today, well, I guess maybe yesterday at this point, uh, they released official story synopsis, Sega did. They gave us a story synopsis of the game and it's literally word for word, the exact details from 2019 down to where the game takes place. So um, I just had to look again to make sure. Yes, it takes place on Starfall Islands and that was stated back in 2019, confirmed today well maybe a couple days ago at this point when they were telling us all the details about the game the reason we bring this up then of course is because since that was right what about what else was in that post well the only other game talked about in that post another survey they did or was part of this general survey from the select company um, was for super mario odyssey 2 in fact that survey contained this screenshot I know, it's not much to go on. It's small, it's blurry. I blew it up for you guys, but I can't see much. You know, Mario's just kind of chilling, legs crossed, there's a bird. Okay, it doesn't really tell you a whole lot, but the survey did actually contain a bunch of details about the game. Now remember, this survey is to gauge interest in these ideas, so a lot of these ideas might not actually be there in the final game, assuming this is true. But let's get into what those details are. Sorry folks, I tried really hard to memorize the details. I couldn't do it, so we're just going to look at the phone. I know it's a little unprofessional, but you know what? This is what you get from me on a late night one story video. All right, so um, the Super Mario Odyssey 2 survey included the first possible screenshot of the game as we showed you. Also the following details, Mario and Cappy go on another adventure joined by Luigi, who presumably gets to use Cappy's best friend, Bowler. Co-op is in the game as well as online co-op as well. So it's a single player game or it can be played co-op. So it's one to two players. All new levels, plus you get to paint and customize the Odyssey as you progress. Yoshi and others are going to be joining you on this adventure. There are going to be 20 distinct locations filled with hundreds of new puzzles, creatures, and enemies. 
hundreds of new side quests, hundreds of new side quests that offer up over 100 hours of additional gameplay. And yeah, as I mentioned, local and online co-op. Think about that for a moment. The side quests alone are over 100 additional hours of gameplay. How many hours can we get out of this? Because even if you 100%ed Odyssey, you weren't getting over 100 hours necessarily, unless you were just obviously um, spending a lot of time exploring because it really wasn't that difficult to necessarily 100%. There were some really difficult to get moons and all that, but that's neither here nor there. What really matters right now is what we have going on right now because Odyssey, yes, Oh, sorry guys, I can't keep going because we'll get copyright claimed for that song. Jump Up Superstar is an amazing piece of music I wish I could play for you guys. So yeah, I'm really excited for this potential. Again, we're calling this a leak specifically because of how we found out about this information and the fact that everything that this person put out there in that same post, that same thread about Sonic uh, Frontiers also ended up being correct. So again, very, very interesting. And I want to know your guys' thoughts on this because right now this has me thinking with Sonic Frontiers being next year, does that mean like this game is also like a next year game? And if not, obviously 2023, uh, it would make a lot of sense for there to be a Super Mario Odyssey 2. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. As for my thoughts, assuming any of this information ends up being true for a new Super Mario Odyssey game, all I could say is yes. Yes, it sounds like a lot to do. I already but have faith in an Odyssey 2 because the first one was so good. And if Galaxy 2 is anything to go off of, because I thought Mario Galaxy 2 was better than the original Mario Galaxy. I know not everyone agrees with that opinion. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. Obviously co-op, being able to play it with my fiance sitting on the couch where we both are full characters, not just someone maybe controlling the hat or you know collecting star bits and stuff like that back in the Galaxy games would actually be in a fully playable character with their own cap uh, to throw around. I, I, I find this to be just fantastic. Fantastic. It's going to be interesting to see how this story plays out with Bowser, which I presume Bowser is probably going to be a big part of this game again, because uh, it did mention Bowser's involved uh, with the Gumbas. Gumbas? I don't know. I already showed you guys the image it has some of this information on. Um, so yeah, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this. I'm super, super stoked for even the prospect, the hope, the promise of a new Mario Odyssey game. Because... Guys, I don't know if I've told many people this. I've played every Mario game to date. Mario Odyssey is my favorite. Maybe it's recency bias, I don't know. I've gone back and played other Mario games that I used to think were so great since, and Odyssey's still my fave. So, <laughs> let's go! All right, folks, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, all that, uh, and I will catch you guys in the next video.